Hey guys, Mechanic CG here, and welcome back to a new series. Today we are playing Dirt 3. I have made sure to install all of the Tokyo Rallycross and the Monte Carlo Rally DLCs. So we are going to be doing every single event that this game has to offer. Don't forget, if you want to help support the channel, make sure to hit that join button. And if you want to join our Discord server where we're going to be discussing a lot about Dirt and Dirt 5, then make sure to click that link in the description down below. And hopefully you guys do enjoy the video. Fantastic. We've signed you up to a four-season contract. Here's an overview of what you can look forward to. Selecting the season will show you what's currently available to you. Right, so this is season one. To start off your first season, I've signed you up for the Alpine Stars Trophy. It's a great place for us to get noticed. Cool. Right, let's do this then. Alpine that. Stars Trophy. Let me introduce you to your chief mechanic. Hey, nice to meet you. Let me know which event you want to compete in, and I'll fill you in on the details. Okay, cool. We want to start with the rally. Okay. Rally is a skilled, fast-paced discipline. Rapid fire staggered starts means that your opponents are just around the corner, so keep an eye on who's doing what. The races are point to point, and the stages take place on a variety of terrains and landscapes that will challenge you technically. Anticipating what's next is the key to success. Finish times are added across the stages, so every second counts, literally. The shortest overall time wins. Okay, cool. Right, we're taking S2000 class. Ooh. A couple of teams have contacted me. They're both great teams, but we'll have more to choose from as your driver rep increases. If you want to increase your reputation, just pay attention to me. I'll turn you into an international sensation in no time. That's fine, Christian. Thanks. But why don't we let our driver choose a team? I'm going to pick Castro. Peugeot 207. We go Alpine Stars Trophy. Honestly, I love all of the Dirt games, like every single one of them, except the Rally series. Dirt Rally and Dirt Rally 2.0. This is one of the most iconic rally locations in the world. There's no shortage of jumps, so make sure you don't lose control. Some of the greatest rally drivers have raced here. It's home of the fastest rally stages in the world. Home of the fastest rally stages in the world. Right, let's do this then. This is the service area. You can find information here about the next race. It's also where you can adjust your difficulty in assists and tweak your vehicle setup. I've provided you with a balanced setup to start with, but feel free to have a look and adjust it to whatever suits your driving style best. If you need more info on anything technical, just... Right, let's go to the first race then. Look at that, we're starting in first place. Go, go, go! Nice. So I am playing this on the Xbox One X. Um, it is backwards compatible. The game doesn't look any more uh, graphically enhanced, but it is definitely a smoother experience than playing it on a 360. And this is going to be the first time as well that I'm playing this game with um, the two track DLCs installed. So I've got um, I've got the Tokyo Rallycross DLC and the Monte Carlo Rally Stage DLC as well. Oh, there's people running in the middle of the road here. That's one cool thing is this, it's more like rally. Because you get people running into the road all the time on rally stages. It's insane. Very nice. Perfect. And coming up to the finish line. Yes! You had to do the little spin. It was mandatory. Awesome race. You should upload the highlights onto YouTube for your fans to watch. I'm already doing that. 
Right, let's go on to the next one. The the one thing that annoys me about Christian is the fact that he um every single race you do always would say, Oh yeah, you should post that to YouTube. I already am. But yeah, it's every single race he would say that. That was the one thing that bugged me about Dirt 3. But this was back when YouTube was really picking up um, when this game came out. Uh, right, let's go on to the second race then. Oh, Fiat Punto. The Fiat Punto is a nice rally car. The weird thing about this game is there's no money, so you don't, like, buy cars or upgrade them or like you did in Dirt 2. It is literally, the cars are there, they're given to you by teams and you have to unlock the teams. There we go, that's the first split. 25 seconds. Two and a half seconds ahead of second place there. Trying to shift the weight of the car through these Left corners six. here. Left six. We're catching up with the Fiat Punto, actually. Right, across the line there. 7.1 seconds ahead. That is very good, right, indeed. Right four. Oh, keep the car straight. Ah, oh, we clipped the curb there. Nicely done. You have to rely on the co-drivers' call-outs. Um, obviously, with this game, you sort of have the mini-map, so it's a little bit easier. But Dirt 4, you definitely have to focus on the co-drivers' call-outs. Otherwise, you cannot play. Like, rallying is one of those things you need to listen. Whoa! What happened there at the finish line? One twenty nine point eight. We were four seconds wow, faster than second. First event. Outstanding. And that's our first event won. Nice. There's some awesome new downloadable content available. Why don't you take a look? What did I tell you? Keep racing like that and you're going to be a household name. And more importantly, more teams will want you to race their cars. Brilliant work. Awesome. Coney Motorsport. Oh, nice. Okay. Hey, Craig, you've almost qualified. Stay focused and keep your eyes on the prize. Right, so next up is the Rallycross American Rally X Crown. So, Rallycross is your good old frantic multi car circuit racing. Your tracks are short sprints and made up of a mixture of surface types for some intense, in your face racing. With cars that are both quick and agile, this really is all about the overtakes. Be the first to finish, and the glory's yours. All right, let's do this. Uh, so we're going to be taking a Subaru Impreza WRX STI GR Rallycross, which has 556 horsepower and only weighs 1.2 tons, which is very lightweight for a car. Welcome to Michigan Smelter. This place might look like an abandoned wasteland, but it's actually home to some of the most challenging races in the world. Industrial tracks give way to off-road conditions, so there's no one way to win any of these races. Expect the competition to be fierce. Interesting. It does look like an abandoned wasteland, though. So we've only got one race, three laps. Let's do this. This car was overpowered in the last game, and honestly, I can't remember how it drives. I haven't played Dirt 3 in over two or three years. So it is pretty cool to come back to it. There we go, nice. Nicely done. Perfect. Oh, we've gone very wide there.
Right, getting some speed. We're going to be overtaking two cars, hopefully. There goes the Mitsubishi very wide around that corner. Got ourselves a uh, Ford RS200 Rallycross and a Ford Focus ST Rallycross as well. These are very short laps, though, for a rally cross event, so fairly interesting. Really fun, though. I love rally cross so much in these games. Oh, we've gone wide there. But still managed to keep a hold of the lead first place. Nicely done. Who just kicked some rally cross, bud? You did that too. We did. Are you sure this was your first rally cross event? Is this uh, no, it wasn't my first rally cross event. We've done loads in the last episode, in the last um, series, in Dirt 2. If you guys haven't checked out Dirt 2, check it out. Honestly, that game is just stunning. Right, so we are on That's to... That's the way to do it, Superstar. You qualify for the final and rock the podium to boot. You're unstoppable. DC has got a big surprise waiting for you. Your own personal... Hey, don't give away the surprise yet, Christian. Thanks, Jack. Yeah, keep racing as well as I know you can, and you'll find out what it is. Okay. Right, let's go to this rally event, then. Um, so we still obviously have stuff that we can buy, Lancia Stratos and that. We're going to take the Fiat 131 Abarth for this one. Again, the last time this Fiat Abarth, this was like Dirt 1. The original Dirt, Colin McRae Dirt. Welcome to Kenya, home of the Safari Rally. There's only one way to describe this event, hot. Temperatures are going to be boiling out there on the plains, and those rough surfaces are going to give you a tough workout. Yep, this is going to be tough. But we can do it. Right, race. Let's go. Oh, listen to that engine. Off we go. Don't go too close to the edge there. Perfect. One hundred, keep left. Into left four, keep Nicely three, done. Three, on tap of the handbrake around the corners. You want to tap the handbrake and sort of like, oh, reverse your steering as you're going around the corner. And that way the car will then slide around the corner and make it all the way around in one go. That was brilliant. I am looking forward to Dirt 5 having that smooth gameplay and being... It, it definitely looks like Dirt 5 is going back to the roots of Dirt 2 and Dirt 3. Um, so I'm looking forward to that. Because obviously Dirt 4 was a little bit too serious for people's liking. And to be able to see the series go to back to its roots would be absolutely amazing. Nice. Got a couple more hairpins coming up. A couple of jumps too. Very nice. Here we go. Right, quick pull in. And across the line. First place, 157.1. That was a very good time, actually. Uh, we are around about eight seconds ahead of the uh, second place. Let's go. 
the loading times are really quick for this, right? Already Dirt 2 and 3 had quick loading times anyways on the 360, but the fact that it is on the Xbox One X and they've actually improved the loading time tenfold is absolutely amazing. Let's do this. Look at this car though. Look how cool that looks. Oh, over the jumps, there we go. Nicely done. Jump. Oh, yeah, there's a little bit of an accident going on there. Oh, yeah, you have the um, each race objectives that you have to try and hit, and you get yourself a bonus amount of XP, or reputation as it is in this game. That guy behind is still stuck. I think he's going to wipe out completely. Very nice. Oh, we went very wide around that corner. Got some air time as well from something that wasn't even a jump. Perfect. Here we go, nice. Eight seconds behind so far. Yeah, that guy's just wiped out. Here we go, perfect. Final corner. Oh, just trying to overtake. Didn't quite make it. But there we go, across the line. 149.784. It's a very good time there. As expected, on to the next. Over 15 seconds faster than the entire pack. Very nice. First place. And we've leveled up to driver rep 3. Air I off road. Oh, they're interested in me. We'll check out their offers in a bit then. The organizers of the Brembo Blast are so impressed by your driving, they've offered you a spot in their next competition. This is a really big deal. Everyone's talking about you, amigo. Your rep is starting to take off. Okay. Right, we're going to carry on with the Alpine Stars trophy and finish off this right. last event, which head is a head-to-head. -head. Head. You and the other driver. The elaborate crossover tracks means you'll be racing different track sections at different times. This is a spectator event. So pay attention to your huge crossover jumps to make sure the crowd's loving you when you cross the finish line. Knockout rounds mean you'll need to get through the early stages and win the final to be victorious. Okay, two rounds we've got. I want to take the Grande Punto with us this time. The Fiat Punto is such... It's amazing. You've the last few races. Why don't you increase the difficulty and see how you do against some real competition? We could do. We might increase it later on down the line. But for now, we're sticking with this difficulty that we got. 86 mile an hour, we've got a hit. Look at that. The cars go opposite directions for this track. Ah, uh, look at this. I love crossover tracks. They are so cool. I was gutted when they removed crossover from Dirt 2. I was like, what, what's the point? There's no crossover tracks. Oh, we've gone... Very bad point. Go. 
On to the second lap. Perfect. And there's our 86 miles an hour. Oh, into building. That's neat. And then we're across that bridge again. And across the line. First place. Right, we've got one more heat left to do. We're, we were actually the fastest time out of all of them there. Here we go. Punto. Let's do this. I want to see Fiat return in Dirt, in dirt 5. I really do. I want to see them come back. Here we go. Nicely done. Ooh. Very bad corner there. Come on, we can do this. That corner again. So we need to slow down for that one for future reference. There we go, nice. Very wide there. Breaking is a little bit different in this game. You can't just like tap and then drift around the corner. There we go, there's that 86 miles an hour. And there's the wall. Not ideal, but it happens. And come on, come on. There's the finish line. That was a terrible corner. There we go. There's no front bumper anymore. We crashed that many times we lost the front bumper. And that was it. We came first. Nice. And that is that first championship completed. Very nice. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy, be sure to leave a like, comment down below and subscribe. If you want to help support the channel, hit that join button, it means the world to me. And if you want to join our Discord where we're going to be discussing a lot about the upcoming Dirt 5 release, then make sure to click that link down in the description down below. And there's a load of other social links there as well. But thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.